In September, Springfield approved the painting of a Black Lives Matter mural outside the city's courthouse. Hundreds of volunteers helped paint the words on the street, but since then it has been vandalized by drivers on several instances. As the city continues to investigate, organizers are taking matters into their own hands to ensure the second Black Lives Matter mural is protected on private property. Connecting Point's Ross Lipman shows us the 16 artists behind the city's newest mural. If beauty is in the eye of the beholder, then what the artist sees as their work begins is a story all to itself. But what happens when the vision of not just one, I'm just gonna put a little bit on my palette if that's okay, but 16 artists come together to tell one story? I was up last night thinking of what the hell I was gonna do. On Worthington Street in Springfield, those artists gathered to create the city's second. Black Lives Matter mural. We are here to say that just like every other race and every other person, we matter, we're important, we want to be treated equally, we desire to be treated equally. So this is the darker brown right here. Painters, illustrators, and street artists were all invited to participate. Unlike Springfield's first Black Lives Matter mural painted in September, artists like Springfield resident Shaughnessy Hill were asked to create scenes within and around each letter. So this is um, Yemaya. She's actually the African Orisha um, set to protect her community. She protects her people. I'm putting a quote from James Baldwin um, and it says to be black and conscious in America is to be enraged. Adira Cave um, is an artist true. and educator. She says by creating personalized artwork around the letters, it allows those three words to deliver a message unique to the artists and to Springfield. I think that words are very powerful, and so to mix them with the art is important to me. The mural on Worthington Street is in response to what's taken place here on the Black Lives Matter mural on Court Street. Springfield police releasing these three videos from incidents on September 14th and September 20th showing cars spinning their tires over the letters causing damage. I felt honestly mad, pissed off, frustrated. Um, it's just it's more than just a painting on the street. The mural on Court Street required city approval to be painted, but here on Worthington Street, they only needed the approval of the building's owner. Alfredo Orojuela. I think it's one of those things where if you're a business owner, or if you have the capability to give back to the community, especially right now, I think it's your responsibility to do so. Orojuela is also taking measures to make sure that the mural is protected. I've installed a full security system. I'm talking to some security companies in terms of having nighttime vigil. We're gonna be adding you know, more floodlights, motion sensors, Basically, if you're within this mural, there's going to be somebody watching you. <laughs> Questions still remain surrounding the damage caused on Court Street. Artists and organizers want answers. Someone knows who did it. <laughs> um, if that will come out, I don't know. Um, and I've, been, I've seen that there is a petition to make sure that it gets figured out who did it. Um, because us artists, we put our heart out, you know, into our work. As you can see with the community here and so many people taking part of it, it speaks for itself. This is just letting people know that we're not going to just roll over and be okay with the defacing of the street mural. We're not going to be okay with being um, subjected to being silent and having small say. So as many times as they deface something, we're going to put new ones up. <laughs>